Now we need to tackle absolute positioning. And the word absolute is a little bit misleading because it, let, it tends to make us think that if I use absolute positioning, that means that no matter what, I, what, pro, what values I give the element, the positioning, it's going to be fixed in that position. But that's what this fixed positioning does. These, so they sound the same in our minds. Fixed is exactly that. Fixed says no matter what on the window, this element is going to be 0 from the top and 10 from the right, period. And so let's address then what absolute positioning does. Uh, before I get started on that, let me reiterate that by default, let me just write this down, default, everything is position static. So without changing any of our elements, to a, one of these other positionings, everything is static, which is exactly what we are become accustomed to. Top, bottom, left, and right. So everything is going to flow from the top and go downward according to its block settings. So top, bottom, left, and right. So that's an important differentiation to make because, let me try and demonstrate. Absolute positioning is a position based on its parent element. In other words, let's just, let me give you, let's just get started and hopefully this will make sense after I show by example. So let's take our image, our hibiscus, and we're going to give it a position absolute. And I'm going to say, for demonstration, I'm going to say from the bottom, let's do 10 pixels, let's do zero. Let's just really, let's do zero pixels and from the right, we'll do zero pixels. All right, so when I save this, you're going to see this hibiscus jump to the bottom right hand corner. Well, isn't that what fixed positioning does? That is true. But let me now show you the difference. Absolute positioning is really a hybrid of relative and fixed positioning. Meaning that, let me show you this phrase again and then I'll show you. It's absolutely positioned based on its parent. In other words, it's going to position itself from a parent that is not static. What? All right, let me explain that. So our image, let's look at it where our image is in our document. Our image is located here. If I try to, let me locate the image's parent. The image's parent is div container, it's class container. And the divs, there's nothing, uh, what is the positioning? property of the div at the moment. Well, the div doesn't have any positioning, right? We haven't set any positionings to it, so its position currently is static. It's the default. We haven't given it anything else, so the static of the div is, uh, is the, the position of this div is static. If we look at the parent of the div, which is the body, there has not been any other positioning. There's no position relative to or any other positioning that's been assigned to the body. So it too currently has a position of static. So and on up the chain, it the body's parent is the HTML. HTML does not have any new positionings assigned. So it too has a position static. So since images, parents, and grandparents and great great parents and all the way up to the root of this document none of them have been assigned a different positioning the positioning that's going to be assigned is based on the HTML's position which is the whole page so relative to this page it's going to be positioned from the very bottom of the window I don't understand what you're saying okay let me try and do this as an example then. The parent of the image tag is this div class container. The div class container has no positioning and so therefore it's currently a static position. So above this image tag, just for a visual, I'm going to give the div a position P-O-S, position of relative. So that is a positioning we saw a little earlier. And I told you when you give something a positioning, in order for it to take effect, you have to give it a top or bottom or left or right or combination thereof. 
So what I've just effectively done is to the div, I've assigned it a position relative, but I haven't actually moved it because I haven't given it a top left, etc. But watch what happens to my hibiscus. So now I'm going to save and watch what happens to my page. Nothing moved as far as the div. It's still in its same location. But what did move was all of a sudden my hibiscus jumped up to the corner of the div. And the reason for that is because image is positioned absolute, its parent now, which is this div class container, which we've given it another positioning. So div class no longer has a position of static. It has a non-static position. In other words, we've given it position relative. Now the image is going to say, oh, I have a parent that's not static, so I'm going to position myself according to the position of this div. So relative to the div, which is why I'm saying it's a hybrid of the two. So now the image is being positioned from the div. In the very corner of this div, I'm going to be zero, zero. As soon as I take position, well, I'll just show this. Let me just make this back to static. This is, oops, stitch, not. <laughs> now position is static. We're going to go back to the bottom because absolute says I'm going to position myself based on a parent or a grandparent or on up the chain. I'm going to base myself on the non-static element. So wherever the non-static element resides, um, I'm, going to pay, I'm going to place myself accordingly. So if I put this back to relative, again, recognize it's not doing anything to the div. It's not moving my div because I haven't given it any top, bottom, left, or right. But I'm now giving it a new anchor point for my image. So now when I save, my positioning is going to be based on this div. So based on this div, move me from the bottom, top, right, left or, or uh, top, bottom, left or right. So I can, let's do this. Remember you saw in my original example, this was floated, oh, not floated, that's a bad word because that implies something else. This is moved off of its normal position down into more of a uh, overlapping situation. And the way that I did that, <clears throat> excuse me, I got something caught in my throat, is I'm gonna do bottom, I'm gonna move it down. So I'm gonna do negative 45. And you'll see that that's moving this hibiscus down uh, relative to the div, right? Because the div has this positioning relative. And then I'll move it from the right. Maybe I'll move that over. Normally, from where you sit, move it over 10 pixels. Let's see what that does. Well, that's not the direction I wanted to go. So let's do a negative 10 pixels. So you can see it's pushing that image, that hibiscus over. So sometimes you just have to play with the values. That's more than I wanted to do. So that's looking more like I'm wanting to do. So absolute position can be a little bit confusing because it implies in our head, it gives us a, a thought that it's absolutely positioned in a certain spot, but that's fixed. So absolute positioning will be in a spot based on my parent or grandparent or whatever um, whatever ancestor up the chain, I will continue to look for a ancestor who is not static and it could be anything, uh, who is not static and I will position myself according to the ancestor up the chain who is not static relative to that element's positioning is where I will place myself accordingly. Hope that makes sense and I hope the visual gave you an indication, but that is absolute positioning.